Okay, so now that you have your zone set up, I've got my poly synth, my channel one, and I've got my clav on zone two. It's important uh, with any modification that you make to a Zetar preset that you save your changes. Because if you turn your Zetar off without saving these modifications, you lose everything. So, I'm going to take you through a quick and simple saving of preset. There's two different things we can do. We can save over the preset that we're currently working on, or we can save the preset we're working on out to another slot, which would preserve the preset that was there before, and it would save our preset out to another slot that is currently empty or maybe not being used so you don't step on your first preset. This is good, I do this, I, what I do is I create a, a generalized preset that's kind of set up for the way I want to play. It's got all my settings in it, I save that to patch one. And then every time I make a kind of a permutation on that preset, I use that as my template and I save them out to the other locations so that I'm not stepping on my template. It's a sort of like a, a baseline uh, to build off of. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to how to save out to another preset, and that's done in the right uh, button. I'm going to go into Edit, and I want to save this preset to another slot, this another song slot, so I don't overwrite my song one. I'm going to go to Soft Key Three, which is the right key. Hit that. It's going to say Right Scratch Kit. And it says, here's the scratch kit I'm using, which is song number one, guitar. And this arrow is asking me where I want to save it to. I hit soft key eight, which brings the cursor to this field. And then I can scroll through my available song slots. I'm going to save it to slot 28, which I know is empty. And then I'm going to hit soft key four, which executes that. So I just save scratch guitar song number one to song slot number 28. X out a couple times, but back out. And that's it. The uh, easiest way to do it, if you're willing to overwrite the particular song that you're using at that time. So this doesn't allow you to save to a different location, but if you just want to save the work you're doing, and uh, as in any kind of like, digital editing or computer work, it's important to save often so you don't lose work. Um, you just hit your right button once. And that will save your preset.